All right, we got some big news today out of Microsoft and Anthropic, and I wanted to put together a quick video to kind of walk through how to set it up and what it looks like in Copilot specifically. So as you can see here, Anthropic and uh, Microsoft put out a joint announcement through the Microsoft blog and this Anthropic blog that we're showing here that basically shares that the uh, the Claude models, so Claude Sonnet 4 and Opus 4.1 are gonna be available in the uh, Copilot Studio and the researcher agent. Now, I'm not a big Copilot Studio expert, to be honest, so I'll leave that to somebody else to talk about that. There are plenty of people like Lisa Crosby, other folks that will be uh, exploring into Copilot Studio, but I wanted to show a little bit about the researcher agent and specifically, how can we turn this on and start using Anthropic if you so wish. Now, in order to turn on Anthropic Access, we do that at the Admin Center. So this isn't rolling out in a turned on state. It's rolled out in a state that your administrator would need to enable for you. And that is because there is a a legal agreement that that administrator has to make on behalf of the organization. So if we go to admin.microsoft.com, the Microsoft Admin Center, we can go over here to Copilot and we can select the Copilot uh, administrative settings. If we go down to settings under Copilot, you'll see that we've got options for like joining the Frontier program, things like that. If we go to data access, then there's this new line right here that says AI providers for other large language models. This is where that anthropic setting lives. So if we open up that module right there, we can see that anthropic is available. If we drop that down, we do have to agree to something. Now, what I wanted to point out is that this is not an agreement like rolled into your existing Microsoft 365 agreement. Right here, it says that by clicking the allow button, you're agreeing on behalf of your organization that you're bound by Anthropic services according to Anthropic's commercial terms of use. So you're agreeing to Anthropic's T's and C's, not Microsoft's. Um, and before everybody rushes out and just turns that on, I wanted to make you aware of that because, you know, that could be a big deal depending on your organization, your risk posture, whether or not you need your risk or legal organizations to weigh in on that. So that's why it's not enabled by default. This is just a test environment. So I am going to go ahead and say that I've agreed to that. And I'm going to allow that provider. So now that's allowed. If I decide to go back, I can always disable that provider if I want to at a later time, but it should be enabled. Um, now we should have access to it in Copilot Chat uh, Researcher as well as available in Copilot Studio when we're building agents. All right, it is the next morning and uh, it I, I checked several times every couple hours and um, it looks like it took at least more than 12 hours to get this to show up. So here we are on day number two, and I'm going to show you now how we get to Claude in the researcher agent. So uh, first what we do is we go to m365.cloud.microsoft. That's the Copilot app on the web. And when you load up chat, you still see the chat GPT-5 up here in the corner. But if we go to researcher now, you will see a similar kind of, you know, pill button at the top that says try Claude. So if we enable that, now it is using Claude going out to Anthropic and we can, um, you know, do a researcher project on here like uh I, I don't know one thing that i'm doing is switching up my nas in my home network so i could ask for some research about that uh compare synology versus unify unas pro right so maybe i'm looking at two different things uh out there in the industry that i want to buy 
for home networking and I can do a research or project. It behaves the same way, comes back like, hey, what are you using it for? Uh, so I'm using for home use. Uh, what are your top priorities? Uh, top priorities are capacity uh, and ease of use, right? I want it to just work. Um, let's do, uh, give me a recommendation. Pick one and stick to it, right? Like actually tell me what you want. Um, yes, give me a table that's easy to understand, right? So, and then it goes off and it will just use a different model than the open AI um, reasoning models that we used before. Now it is using a Claude model to do that. Um, while that's going, I did do a little bit more reading last night as well. And we can see that uh, there's an article now for Power Platform. So even though we enabled it at the admin level for the M365 tenant, you also will need to enable these external LLMs, the first being uh, Claude by Anthropic. You'll need to enable those uh, at the environment level in Power Platform if you want to use this within Copilot Studio. So if we go over to the Power Platform Admin Center, you get into the Admin Center for Power Platform, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Manage on the side, then you'll select your environment. This is my 365 deep dive environment, which is the default. And then we're gonna go up here to settings in the command bar. Then we'll drop down product and we'll go into features. Once we get into those features, um, we're going to be looking for uh, allowing external LLMs in here. So um, we're gonna skim through and try to find this. There's a lot of settings in here. Maybe I can just search for external. Um, so the word LLM doesn't come up either. Let's see what we're looking for. Um, on the features page, turn external models on or off. So unfortunately I don't see the, uh, the thing for preview experimental models is there, but that's not external models. So we may have to wait for that uh, to show up uh, at a different time because it's still not showing in that. So maybe give it another day or so. It's been less than 24 hours, but um, that will be the path that you'll go to. You'll go to the environments, your environment that you want to enable, settings, then you'll go under product features, and then somewhere in there, there will be an external model. I would imagine that it's probably going to be around this area where it says preview experimental models. There will probably be something about external models in that type of area, but you can just search within your browser to find that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pause here and we'll see what this comes back with. Oh, actually, it looks like it is coming back with some information. So this is saying like right up front, hey, here's your winner. Um, I like that rather than like having to go through 30 something pages of uh, research with the open AI model and then get the winner at the bottom. This kind of puts like the, uh, the bottom line up front is what that's called. Um, and then I get a, a pretty straightforward comparison table. It still has those kind of, you know, uh, dynamic looking graphics. This is something that we've had with, uh, with researcher in the past but you can kind of go through here, ease of use. So it's a much shorter, simpler uh, reply. And if I go and drop this down, it still did a ton of transparent, like going through and browsing out the web, um, coming back, finding good information, kind of ruminating on that, thinking about it, uh, then going out, finding some other information, browsing the web for that coming back like okay let like let me find some more information so it's still doing that reasoning and it's doing it all very transparently but it was much faster and it was more um to the point 
than if I had done an open AI uh, version. So that's just one example of what Claude will look like. I would be very interested to see in the comments if you'll reply and uh, tell me how you're using Claude, tell me what your thoughts are of Claude versus OpenAI uh, GPT models. Um, I haven't really used Anthropic models that much, but I hear that people who use them are very much on board with Claude. There's a lot of excitement around this new model. Uh, we do want to point out, you know, that there's different terms and and uh, terms of use and, and data control happening with that. But uh, I hope this video was helpful. And now you know how to turn it on and some of the implications of whether or not you want to uh, go ahead with that and start testing out new models in Copilot. Thanks for watching.